Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and this video is about the centuries. So centuries are the protected area uh, which covers uh, all the uh, biodiversities and natural uh, environment and naturally occurring areas that are mean to protect the indigenous species from the hunting, poaching and the predation. So may, may initially many of the national park where wildlife centuries are, are after the adoption of the conservative measure by the Indian government, there are, was a 30% rise in the number of the tigers in the year 2015. So here are the characteristics. Uh, it's a natural area that is reserved by the governmental or the private agency for the protection of the particular species. Area is designed for the protection of wildlife animals and on, only animals are conserved which could be a private property. So at present there are about 565 existing wildlife sanctuaries in India covering an area of 122,560 kilometers square which is 3.73% of the geographical area of the country. So it deals about the great importance in the field of the ecology, economic and the aesthetic value. And uh, first life, uh, wildlife century in India is the Manas wildlife century in, present in the Sam. And largest uh, wildlife century in India is a run of Kutch, Gujarat. While the smallest wildlife century is the Mayureshwar uh, wildlife century uh, located in the Baramati, Pune. So some important wildlife centuries of the India are as follows. So there are some differences between the wildlife sanctuaries and the national park. So human activity are allowed in the wildlife sanctuary while the no human interference is allowed for the conservation purposes in the national park. Uh, there are no, no boundaries in the sanctuaries while the boundaries are fixed and defined by the government in the case of national park. So, so this is about the wildlife sanctuaries. So keep watching. Thank you.